How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Mokatala Shoujo. Uh, in the previous part, we... Ugh. I, I have nothing to say. It's... Jesus. Oh my goodness. Okay. Please, fingers crossed, let's get through this act in this session. I'm really hoping for this session to end off with the act showing up. So... Let us continue. But that was ordering in Chichen, going out to eat is different. Yeah, totally different. N not really. You're both kidding yourselves. Before I can reply, Shizuni grabs my hand, limiting my ability to do so. My options cut down so drastically, I have no choice but to settle for making a face at her instead. She makes one back before extending her hand to Misha as well. When Misha is reluctant to take it, I walk forward as far as holding on to Shizuni at the same time will allow me and take my her hand myself. Haha. <laughs> okay, so Misha's back to her old self. Probably. She only has a second oh, she only has a second to smile before Shizune starts pulling us impatiently towards the door, binding us together like a human chain. Who the fuck's that in the background? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Who's <laughs> the person with the umbrella on school grounds wearing a white gown? Wait, is that a gown? I think that- Yeah, that's a gown! What the f- Who wears that? <laughs> to a school that does- that is required to wear uniforms in. Why is that person a thing? <laughs> and why is that person on school property? This is, isn't this a private school? I think this is a private school. And that person's not supposed to be on school grounds! What the fuck? And I think they did like something different with this with this art right here because I feel like Technically this is a different art style from the previous one. The one where Misha was just like fucking near the fence and shit. That one looks a lot more different. I'll tell you that. And this art style's different. I think. I'm not sure if the same person drew it or what. I don't know. Although it's dangerous, none of us seem to think of letting go any step of the way through the school. Out of the doors and across the grounds. This feels familiar as if we walked like this before. Three of us hand in hand. Of course, the mood was a lot happier then. I can see the lingering sadness in their faces and it makes me wonder if anything has really changed. If this is all just a distraction or not, but I think it's just me slipping back into some being cynical because of the moment it's a start. Are you serious, David? <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck's that? What the, who the fuck's that? <laughs> what the fuck? Ah. We are in the final act, everyone. Congratulations. Only a day later, the weekend has already arrived. I drop a heavy stack of books on the librarian's desk, not meaning to slam them, but they weigh so much that it happens anyway. Yuko bolts out of her chair with enough force to dislodge her glasses. She barely holds on to them. Oh, hi. Sorry, I'm here to return all these those books I was supposed to. That's great, but I wish she had brought them back sooner. It wouldn't be a problem if the library had more copies of everything, but it doesn't, and they act like that's my fault. They? Other students, they can be, um, pretty pushy. Sorry, it's just kind of slipped my mind. It's been a pretty rough couple of days. I feel like I'm having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with myself every time I, like, read Yuko. I don't know why, I just feel like I have a, like, one-on-one -on -one conversation with myself. That's really weird. <laughs> oh, um, I suppose you don't want to talk about it. Yuko meekly turns to the task of locking all the books I've brought back as returned. Treating them with extreme care and precision, precision, she, like she's a bomb disposal technician rather than a librarian. Over, 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 over the past couple of days, I've been thinking about something Misha said. Of course, I thought about everything she said, but one thing in particular keeps coming back. She talked about how she didn't want to miss people or think about being apart from them anymore. When I, oh Jesus. When I recall those words, they stopped me cold, like a sharp slap across the cheek. 
in just a few months, we'll be graduating. I thought it was like in a few weeks! Misha and Shizune were nearly inseparable, but after graduation, they might never see each other again. I wonder if that thought is what started all of this. If Misha were to try and talk to Shizune about it, Shizune likely wouldn't think about it at all. It would sadden her and for that reason, I, she would try and toss it away. For someone like Shizune, who is so quick to suppress her worries, it would be easy. Misha turned out to be more sensitive than she seemed. It would have crushed her, even though more so because Shizune's reaction would could come off as pretty cold. I don't know if that's how Shizune handled it, but it seems likely and I can understand why she would act that way. I can also understand why Misha would be troubled by the thought of drifting away from someone who is such an important part of her. I never thought about graduation until that moment. Then I began to think things like, has it really been, only been less than a year? I started thinking of everyone I've met, not only Shizune and Misha, but everyone else. What about the guy with the back who was fucking drooling from the very beginning? Yeah, that guy. We never got to see that guy. Who's that guy? Jesus. But everyone else, they were fond thoughts. Then I thought of losing them. Suddenly, I could understand Misha's anxieties. It would be nice to talk to someone about it. Actually, I kind of want to. With whom? You! You're the only person! Yeah, I'm going to talk to Kenji. I'm going to definitely talk to Kenji about it. I can sense an obvious tinge of apprehension in her voice. With you. Really? Are you sure? Why me? I don't know. You're an <laughs> Because you're an adult! <laughs> Apparently. That's it? That's... Don't you fucking... Jesus. Winston, she fidgets a little in her seat, trying to get comfortable in a pretty uncomfortable looking way. I guess this means she's okay with it. Is, is it hard being an adult? Yes. <laughs> okay! I don't think that I'm... That, think I'm that old, though. I'm. Su it's surprising that students now, like Shizune and you, wear stuff like perfumes or cologne. I never did. I still don't use that. I don't even wear cologne! I... Uh, well... Is Old Spice cologne? I'm not... It's the deodorant. Yeah, deodorant. There you go. Old Spice is a deodorant, not a cologne. Okay. Uh, by the way, you're not wearing your grape cologne today. Shh! Shh! It's... It's... It's, shh. <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> you don't need to know. Yeah, it wasn't working out for me. Oh, that's good. I thought the same thing. Sorry. Yuko looks genuinely sorry and I feel a, a pang of guilt. I smile despite myself. You sneaky bastard. A tiny lie like that can come back to bite me in the butt. Pretty sure. For me sure, trying to conceal how she felt in order to put on a happy face with Shizune for as so long must have been crushing. Someone I know brought up that we're going to be graduating and I realized that I've never thought about it before. I feel stupid that I could go so long and never think about these things. I've met a lot of great people and I've never thought about what's going to be like to graduate and maybe never see them again. <coughs> Jesus. There are still ways- oh my god. <laughs> there are still ways you could keep in touch. Phones, email, texting, oh that's the same thing, mail, who uses mail these days, um, visits. Uh, complicated relation- Okay, there we go. Let me stop right there. Yeah, I guess. I feel childish. I know everyone is going through the same thing, probably. I bet you hear this kind of problem a lot. No, I haven't been working here that long. I worried about the same thing when I graduated from high school. Um, I didn't go to school here, though I also miss my friends. And I wish I had kept in touch with them better. I should have tried harder. Yugo isn't really ha hel helping, helping me feel better and, and she climbs up quickly when she sees it on my face. I don't want to look back and have those same regrets. I wonder if Shizune ever even thinks about the kind of stuff, about that kind of stuff because she goes on sometimes about how she doesn't know what, she doesn't want to live with any regrets. Wow. Shut up, truck. That sounds impossible to me. Fuck, why do I keep, damn it. I nod, only halfway wanting to agree. Even so, I think that is kind of admirable too. Kind of brave, don't you think so? Brave is a new way to put it. Yugo shakes her head insistently. Insistently? I don't know. I, I, I just saw it for a second, just said it and just clicked the space button. I don't care. It's... <laughs> oh god. Okay. 
All I ate today was like an ice, like two, two ice cream? I don't know. This is like something called drumsticks or whatever. You get it at Costco or something, I don't know. It's true though, and excuse me. It's true though, and also kind of intimidating. Jeez, you shouldn't be intimidated by high schoolers. Yeah, jeez, what the fuck? <laughs> I'll try. She turns away to start folding a sticky note over and over. Pretty idle behavior for a university student. But more importantly, I wonder if I said the wrong thing to her. Being around Shizune for so long, I can't stop reading as much as I can, I can into every moment of silence. If Yuko were the type of person who didn't get intimidated by high school stu high schoolers, it probably wouldn't be so easy to talk to her. It's all too easy to want to shed some negative quality of, of yours. When I think of everyone, I know it's those qualities that I like the best. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think I really regret it. I thought so as long as I could remember the good times, that was enough. I don't know. Sorry. I know there's a couple of students starting to trickle into the library and decide that my time is up. No, that was helpful. I feel like two of my friends are fighting because one of them is taking the fact that we might not see each other again after we graduate really hard. <laughs> what? Okay. And the other is probably being stoic about it, only, which only makes it worse. <coughs> Jeez. I don't get how I'm supposed to handle this kind of situation. It doesn't seem like the kind of problem where I'll have to end up taking a side, but it could turn out that way, and then I have no idea what I'm going to do. Y you oh, yeah, I was gonna say Yuko. You should tell them they shouldn't fight. I know, fighting is bad. That's it's not Shizune and Misha, by the way. <gasps> Thank you, Captain Obvious! Okay, um I wasn't really thinking that though. How embarrassing, even though I knew it would be, I still feel like my cheeks reddened, and even so, I still said something so transparent and blatantly a lie, but it could be that sometimes that is the right way. So you're gonna, uh, like, for instance, I'd be like, if I was, like, explaining, like, a situation to, like, to a, like, I guess an adult, okay, and I was in his house place, and Yuko would be like, but wait, it's not who you think it is. It is not what I. It's, it's completely out of topic. It's not what you think. I'm gonna go now. That's it. I would have just said that and just walk away if it was an adult like Yuko. But if it was like a serious adult, it's like, yeah, it's Misha and fucking Shizune. Yeah, and I'm gonna add the F bomb to it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna keep it like that. But it's gonna be like, it's Yuko. Why do? You, why are you so fucking? Oh. Just by the way, Sando here. It's Misha and Shizune. I mean, it's not. It's it's not. It's like she doesn't give two shits. She's intimidated by everyone. Why? God dang it. He's a dingus. Do you have any books about people who have to make have to make hard decisions? We have a lot of self-help books. WHY DOES THE LIBRARY HAVE SELF-HELP BOOKS?! WHAT?! Hey, I wanna fucking put a kidney transplant! Don't worry, I have the self-help book with me, I know how to do this! What the fuck?! I don't even know what self-help books are, so I, that's what I- that's the first thing I think of. It's funny that I can do that- find that surprising, because I wouldn't have only a few months ago. I mean, about, not four. There aren't many, right? Yes, um, not many, I mean. Though I feel a bit apprehensive about it, I want to talk to Shizune. I got a burp coming up. Mm. Excuse me. Jesus. I don't understand why I feel nervous about it, and that disgusts me a little. Oh boy, student council room! It also motivates me to look for her, right then and there, although I don't have to look very hard. She's in the student council room, as always. Chip, why do you... Oh, my dog, okay, every time she eats, like, she's eating her food, right? Sometimes, like, every single time I look at her, like, when she gets one, like, she gets one chew, like, one mouthful of her food, and then she starts chewing. And then she looks at me for a few seconds every time I look at her, and then she goes, she slowly looks at her food and starts eating. Like, and then she looks around, too, sometimes. It's weird. Chip! Okay, she's in the zone right now. 
Worryingly, Michelle isn't with her. When she didn't notice me and looks up from her paper paperwork. Paperwork? The first thing I ask is where she where she is. I don't know. There is so much uncertainty in her answer that I can't let it go just like that. Just let it go. Be like fucking frozen. I just, okay, I I'm not I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but I watched the Spanish version of Frozen. And I remember like a lot of people that watched Frozen were telling me that Oh my god! Them singing Let It Go! It's like the best thing ever! It's like... Okay, and I'm a person that doesn't watch movies that much. Movies that much. Like, the only movie I actually watched recently was Black Hawk Down and How to Train Your Dragon. Not the second one, but the first one. It was on like, it was on like FX or something like that. But, so, it was when I was doing, when I was being a counselor at a camp. Uh, it was when I was gone for like a week. Um, so, and then the next week I went back to, uh, after the spring break, I went back to school again. That's when I had the counselor thing. So, yeah. So, anyways. So, fucking, I come back to my Spanish class, right? And, like, the sophomore who was in my PE class when I was in the last year, when I was a junior, uh, he said, oh, dude, we had a party on Thursday when you were gone. It's like, okay, I don't care because it's Spanish. I don't really think so, but anyways, so they were watching Frozen in Spanish and like every single time, like by the people saying Frozen, like let it go or you want to build a snowman or whatever. That was Juan who was telling me that shit. All right. So I was watching it. I was like, okay, so this movie is all right, I guess. Like, I, there's nothing wrong with it. All of a sudden, it starts singing in Spanish. I was like, what the fuck? This is not what I thought it would be in Spanish. I didn't know what he was saying in Spanish. I never knew that it was required for them to sing in Spanish. So I was like, what the fuck? It is so offbeat and everything. Like, what the fuck? I know it makes sense that I'm in the Spanish. I was in the Spanish class, but like, Really? We had to watch every little thing in Spanish! Oh my goodness! I still can't get over that! God damn it! She's missing a lot of school. Well, Sal, you should just let it go. Are you the attendance police? That's really strange coming from the student council president. She's in there hides a lot behind a cupped hand and I start to think that I might be worrying for nothing. But then her later her laughter slowly fades away to more, a more serious pen and pensive expression. You're right. Yesterday. Thank you for saying one or two words in those text boxes, Shizune. God damn it. I catch the hint of knowing, a knowing smile on her face when she sees my poorly hidden panic at the word. Despite her best efforts, she can't help being satisfied in... What the fuck? Are they signing? Are they? Yeah, yeah, is it? Like that? What the fuck is that word? Hold on! I'm gonna Google this! Uh, I think you guys saw my shot shot. Okay. E L E C. I'm Googling it. I should I should always keep up Google. I mean it's serious. I, I should honestly keep up Google to know how to pronounce this word or any words that I need wait. I think that's What the fuck? Okay! Elect? What the fuck? I don't even know how to pronounce it! Oh, Alice it! Oh! <laughs> I don't even know what that word is! Evoke drawn out a response, answer, or a fact from someone in reaction to one's own actions or questions. I'm a fucking idiot! <laughs> God damn it! Surprise from everyone else to the very end. Even though, even then, I can see that she has bigger concerns from her. How quickly her smile vanishes. Before either of you noticed me, I saw that you were saying, "I saw what you were saying." I'm not still. What the fuck? You were sign language? What the fuck? So he was sign languaging. Sign language. He was fucking doing the hand motions and shit. What the fuck? Oh, she can read lips. One of those two. If I hadn't, I could still see through Misha while we were walking back. Even if she hadn't told me everything later. She didn't make a big deal out of it, but anyway, you look at it. 
Anyway, you look at it, it's my fault, isn't it? What did she tell you? Friend zoned! She's in a. went to, at the question. Question? God damn it. Through, though it's clear she's been expecting it, she follows it up with a very grand gesture. A lot. Like that I can be shelf it. Shellfish. Ah! You know what they call a fish in a shell? Shellfish. That was so fucking stupid, I'm sorry. And confusing, I tried too hard to bring people around me and then push them away. I didn't know that what I should do. I thought she was right to mention all of those things, so I just agreed with her. But with that only made things worse. I don't understand. Adjusting your glasses, she looks pretty tired. I hope it isn't because she's been busy avoiding Misha, but I can't help considering the possibility seeing where this conversation is going. Oh boy! It's true, even the student council being this small and us always being swamped with work, it's my fault. I might have ended up driving a lot of people off and away from the student council acting like that. She's in a wag to finger mischievously, acknowledging that might is an understatement. However, from how rarely she does it, it's obvious the humor is only to put me at the ease and therefore not genuine. Like Lily for instance, she was the first person to join when I started trying to recruit people again after everyone else left. Because they couldn't stand me, I guess. We, we, I was gonna say we winged. What the fuck? We managed to put together the last festival and even ran a booth together at the last minute. But I didn't like her because I thought she was selfish, always holding us up in order to tend to one friend of hers or another, and leaving Misha and I alone to sort out things involving the whole school by ourselves. If there were any problems she was going through, she w would leave us high and dry while pa she panicked over it and wouldn't come back until it was solved. She would focus on it 100% and be too pre preoccupied to focus on any student council work. That was the worst to me. That she could be so nice and still take so many people for granted. Why even join a student council then? It seems so short-sighted and selfish, don't you think? But it's, all it's actually me who's that way. Like Misha said, always trying to pull people close to me and then shutting them out. That is how I treated her, which makes me a bad friend. And it feels like I did the same thing to you. S then, so I guess I'm a bad girlfriend. Wait, you're going out? What the f what? Wait, when were they ever going out?